Hello guys and welcome to Jewel's Creations. I know I have not done it like I've done videos but I have not uh, uploaded them or edited because it's been crazy but I'm going to make shrimp today. Um, my husband's been sick and my daughter's been sick and I, I'm starting to feel the tickle in my throat. I have been taking my remedy. It's the um, it's called fire cider or something like that and it's a remedy that you do for a couple of months and you let it ferment and it's good for you um i do have also honey with garlic which i'm gonna have to try because it's just getting crazy but anyways i'm gonna attempt to do this um i've made this before when evie and victor were with me and so evie remembers the recipe a different way and i'm gonna do it differently now because I like it hotter and my husband likes hot stuff too so um, my kids are gonna have to eat it that way so stay tuned all right also my kitchen is under construction so and then I got a lot of the fruit flies so my husband just hanged these up I know it looks crazy that's a lot of my fermenting uh, stuff that I have back there Right. Okay, so I usually buy this shrimp at Safeway when they're five dollars a pound. So this is two pounds. So I'm gonna make two bags, so it'll be four pounds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. That's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna peel it, and then I'm gonna. Um, a lot of people don't peel it; they just leave it. Um, they leave the shell, but. My husband prefers me killing it. So these are already frozen. Okay. Just got it out of the freezer. So this is what one bag. So this is two pounds. And like I said, I'm gonna do two bags, so it'll be four pounds. Okay. So I'm gonna put you guys in the fast mode. To kill them. And because Sorry, because they are frozen. Oh, I'm gonna put water so they could start um, getting them frozen and then go from there, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna tell you the ingredients we need. Of course, we need a, the, um, the shrimp, how, how much, as much as you want. I'm doing, <clears throat> excuse me, four pounds. Um, I'm gonna use, you can use butter or margin, okay? Um, I'm not gonna call this uh, shrimp, uh, what do you call it in Spanish? A la diabla? Cause no, I'm not gonna glorify the devil. But I'm gonna call it habanero shrimp, okay? In the past I've done it differently, but this time I'm gonna try it a different way, but I think, it, I not I think, I know it's gonna come out good. So, I buy the habanero chili in liquid in these bottles, but, okay, let me see, sorry. I know it's backwards, but I just put habanero, so what I did is I dehydrated it, and that's why it's in powder. Um, and then the onion is also in powder, and so I reuse these um, for whatever I need. So, let's get started. So we need, of course, whatever seasonings you want. And like I said, I'm gonna use the habanero and the onion, and then the shrimp and the margin. That's all you need, okay? I am gonna do a three meal course, but I don't want this to be a long video. So I'm gonna do one for the shrimp, one for the veggies, and one for the rice, okay? So let's get started. This is the pan that I'm using, it's a big pan. Yes, my kids have messed up the pan because I don't use these. So I'm going to use some oil. And usually what I do is I reuse oil that I've already um, used before because I don't like to waste anything. And you guys could use whatever, okay? Um, all right, guys. So this is the oil that I've used before. And it does have a little bit of spice, so 
I like to reuse my oil. So it's going to take a little bit of time to just um, get, it, get it going. But I'll be back when I get that done. Okay, so usually I don't use oil when I do my shrimp. Um, I use more of the margin or the <clears throat> butter. But I wanted to get that flavor in there of that chili. And that was the only reason why I did it, okay? So you guys could use whatever you guys want, okay? So I put a whole stick of uh, margin. And it doesn't matter what kind you guys use, okay? That's just your preference. Um, these were on sale. That's why I got them and I try to buy a lot when they're on sale. So, all right, you just let it melt. And I'm sorry that you guys can't see, like, the whole thing, but I don't have a, a great, um, let's see. Yeah, it's not going to, I'll try to show you guys, okay? So just melt it. Um, make sure you're by the stove when you're doing this. And again, sorry, my throat, I don't know, it's getting a little bit out of whack. Another thing that I'm going to use is this right here. Again, I save all my stuff. This is from a, either, I think it's a coconut drink. Um, but it's chili and there's another spice in here that I forgot what it was. But this is the, the green chili. So I'm going to add that in there as well. Okay. So again, I don't like to waste anything. So... Um, if you guys just want to do it butter, that's the the way I usually do it. Just butter, okay? No margin. But, um, I usually don't measure. It's by the, um, your preference because, again, this is chili. So, whether you want it hot or not, um, I will do a video. Okay, this is how much I'm going to put of this, okay? Only because I'm going to put the other kind of chilies as well. But then I'm going to do the habanero one, which is this one. I wish I had a regular bottle. So I could, oh, yes, I think I do. Hold on a second. So you guys could see the one that it's, it is, but it's just, um, sorry. So this one is the one that I usually get. Let me see if I can put you guys up a little bit. Uh, it's Yucateco habanero. I don't like the red, the green one. I just don't. Um, the green one tastes and smells weird. So that's the reason why I don't get that one. I did try it. I did try it. So, <clears throat> so keep it on low until you have all the spices incorporated there. So this is the habanero one. And I'm going to put a little bit more because I just like it. And I do want it to be spicy. And then at the end, I will like try it just to make sure. But so this is the onion, right? And again, I do all this um, through, I dehydrate stuff and then I just make it as a powder. So let me just kind of incorporate it here. Okay, so you guys can see a little bit more. I apologize, guys. I'm going to have to get better equipment to um, show you guys a little bit better. But this has been in here for a little bit, so I'm going to kind of shake it to get all the... It's kind of stuck right there. So I might have to use... There we go. A little stick. Sorry, it's not focusing for some reason. Okay, so it's kind of stuck right there. Um, I don't know why. Maybe a little bit of water went in there. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the onion. I can't find the garlic or I would have put garlic in there. So this happens if I don't put like um, a thing in there to um, not make it clumpy and stuff. 
Okay, so I think I want more of the onion to be more flavorful. So I did another kind of spoon there. Oh, oh, I just dropped the top. All right, so. Spicy, but I'm gonna add a little bit more of this one. So this is where you're gonna get all your flavor before you put your your shrimp in there because remember the shrimp um it's done pretty fast you don't need too much time okay because it's going to be a lot of shrimp but then i don't put too too much okay so it's in there incorporated i don't know if you can see it but it's more of a it's more green there and you guys i'm this is for us, so it's not like, you know. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more habanero. I mean, it's pretty spicy already, but. In English, they call it, or in Spanish, they call it cabarones a la diabla. Okay. So I put an extra of that. Remember, because this is powder, if you put less. Because when you, um... When you dehydrate it, it's it's like a lot more. So if you're gonna do like the bottle, then you would probably have to put a little bit more. But again, do it for your taste, okay? Now we're gonna put the shrimp, okay? Everything I have to do different ways, okay? So, you know, I have it to the very lowest setting so we're gonna put it in here again this is four pounds okay you see that water in there i don't want that in there so. okay. i'm gonna put the heat a little bit higher maybe to medium right if you can see it a little bit better there the um chili i think these are going to be the best shrimp habanero shrimp that I've done okay so you guys know that shrimp cooks pretty fast okay I don't know if I want to make it more juicy because I have some habanero salsa that um, one of our friends from our church gave to us and yes I wouldn't I'm glad I did not add the other part of the butter or any more butter. I think this is just perfect, right? So, all right. We'll be back when this is done. And you know what? I'm going to add, I am going to add that other um, thing of uh, homemade salsa. And she did put habanero in there. So, I'll show you guys. what. It, all right, guys. We're back. So... This is a container that I put it in. So I think she put, um, what is it that she put? I know she put habanero, tomatoes, and cilantro. Okay. So here it goes. So if you're going to do this, I would suggest for you to do it before. But, okay. I think I'm going to put the whole thing in there. Okay. So thank you, Ms. Rosie. So, okay. Do that. So now I'm gonna just get the heat a little bit higher, okay? Because I'm gonna make white rice, so I do want it to be a little um, that has some juice in it. And now I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I barely found out. So I'm gonna take a picture of the the whole thing. So you guys could see, right? And then go from there. So right now I'm just gonna cover it and then I'll let you guys know like how long, about how long it took to uh, finish 
it won't be that long maybe five minutes seven minutes the most all right guys one more thing uh that i felt like it needed and the salt always brings all the flavors together so i'm gonna add some salt this is almost done um so just do as much as you think you know it looks like maybe i'm putting a lot but i'm not so there you go that's the salt and that was like the last thing that i am gonna add whatever in. chili you want i chose the habanero one um onion and then i did some of that powder uh green chilies and and i think the other one was uh, parsley in there and then and then i put extra salsa that um our friend from church did she took it to a fellowship um to a bible study and she asked me to take some so i did of course i'm not gonna say no so in that jar there was or in that salsa cilantro uh chiles habaneros and tomatoes and so that's how she made it so it's just adding a little bit more so this is what it looks like okay um to make sure that the shrimp do um cook evenly i would put a lid on top of it while you're waiting so this is what it looks like i wish i could show you more of the juice that's in there but it's i don't want to drink but yeah that's it so guys hey, thank you so much for staying for this video um i am going to do a three course meal so stay tuned for that um i'm gonna do my veggies and then my rice my white rice and then i'll show you guys a trick that I've, I've i saw in another video and i'll tell you who it was at that video how to present your bowl of white rice all right guys remember the decisions you make today will not just affect you but those that love you and surround you so make good choices be blessed